Hi guys, welcome to this quick tutorial about how to restore the VIA driver if you lost it and you need it for your scanner or printer. So this is uh, of course about Windows. I have installed Windows 10 and I have a Canon printer scanner that's an MFD multifunctional device the MG5420 I think and I'm using this uh, scanning software that's the paper port which is not bad it's quite cheap and it has a lot of functionality it works really reliable has great OCR optical character recognition and I was using this uh, via driver I had an other Canon printer which was using the Twain uh, interface which wa was way advanced compared to the VIA driver but uh, yeah that broke down and I had only or I have only the uh, yeah that's a spare printer which I kept in storage so I'm using now the MG5400 series so but this has only the VIA driver doesn't have the Twain driver so I was using this can't remember if I was using the VR or the VR2 I think it was the VR so I started my computer today and I wanted to access the scanner and it didn't work so only the this interface from the old scanner was available not these two anymore and I had no clue what to do so I made just a quick guess and I went to the internet page of the Canon so I was looking for the Canon side of my country so here this is uh, from USA there are some uh, other regions I think Europe Asia and so on available but the drivers will be the same anyway so yeah just go to the Canon page and Google for or search for your printer and yeah then uh, you can you get to this oral printer page and then you will find drivers and downloads here it brings you down to software here we have drivers but uh, this uh, didn't help I yeah maybe it helped so but actually I went what I, uh, I did I went to the software site and I installed two things so I installed the quick menu uh, from here because I have seen there's a new version maybe it had some conflict with a new update from the Windows 10 I really don't know but it's really a surprise to see an updated software with such an old printer so I suspected maybe this could be the case and the image garden I think it's just something um to manage your pictures and so on and it's really huge so i didn't choose that uh, but i also chose this the easy web print so these two things the easy web print and the quick menu which are both pretty small and it didn't take long to install these two software things and then i started my computer again and I restarted also the paper port software again and yeah in a sudden I had these VR drivers back so within these two software components it seems uh, there was an update or reinstall of these VR drivers maybe you can use one of these I haven't seen so if I had this seen before I probably would have chosen one of these two things but uh, it seems that with the regular software update at least of these two things quick menu and web easy print uh, that should do the job as well so yeah I hope 
I was able to help you a little bit with that. If you have any questions, just write to the comment section below. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.